Uh, they are now calling 1976 through 78 the golden age of the rock album. I can see that. You yeah, were right smack in the middle of it. Incredible the amount of albums that were being sold. Yeah, that's Ru- the- Rumors, Hotel California, Frampton Comes Alive, and the other one Boston. you put in there, Boston. Bad Out of Hell. And Bad Out of Hell. But that was an incredible time, those those few years. Yeah, that, that sales were amazing. And that's why people go, do you think it'll sell 30 million again? I got your mind. That's not that market. The market doesn't exist for that. Maybe someday again it will. Uh, were you surprised to know while the second one did? Because um, it was released like what, sixteen years later? Yeah, and still no, was a no. I, yeah, I was. You know, I anticipated maybe five or six million behind it. I, I mean, that was my anticipation. And then what did we do? Fifteen, sixteen? No kidding. I so, um, but that that little that little, that little ditty we did anything for love didn't hurt it at all. You know, I mean, that was that was that was a pretty good start to that. In your it, opinion, is there is there a song? Is that is that type of song on the on the new one? I think a, we got a ton of them on this thing. I think I think that. I think the song that is that song is a song called Blind is a Bad. Which we're going to hear here. Yeah, yeah, I think so. that's the song. Those songs we're talking about, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, uh, Paradise by the Dashboard, like, those become part of the culture. Well, and that's it, really tough to do. How do you do it? Because I've reached an emotional connection with you, dear. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> this isn't getting nauseating. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, the new Meatloaf album. It's the third installment of, uh, of Bad Out of Hell. Then uh, just a few days later, November 4th, you're going to be at the Elgin Theater. Tell us about how the uh, how the stage show uh, uh, works, because I understand you sort of do it album by album, or at least pieces of each album. Well, I'm not giving that away. Come on, give it no, up. No, hell no. Give we, it mind, up. No prayer, son. That, would, that's not, that spoils the surprises. Who's going to be Scooter? Who's going to be Scooter? Why, you, you want to be Scooter? Oh, Billy will be Scooter. Scooter, I, can, I don't think I can do it justice, because nobody can be Phil Rizzuto. Don't well, you think? See, you're putting yourself down now. No, I'm not putting him up. I think Phil Rizzuto no, is the best. No, but you do that all the time. You have that negative approach to life. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at the glass half full or half empty? Half full. Oh, Always. yeah, well, then, Always. okay, then there's no reason you couldn't do Scooter. If, if oh, I could do Scooter. Okay, right. you it could, but you're not speaking. going to. Because <laughs> no. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the great memories that many of us of, of, of my vintage have is going to, uh, well, there was the Kingsway and the Roxy Theaters to see Rocky Horror, and we used to do that quite regularly. Did you dress up like a Frankenfurter? No, with, I never Come did on, that. man. I threw the Fess toast. Up. You threw toast. You didn't wear you didn't wear fishnet stockings? No, Frank. I could Carter. see you in fishnet stockings, man. Me? Oh, I can't. It never happened. Oh, you just don't have the right picture. Uh, yeah, I don't want to see it. No, yes, you do want to see it. It's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs>